And these are the exact teams the top 10 is using. Really cool, right? Just do this to copy them. Hey Axie Rankers, in this video I'll show you two more gameplays from my team on the top 1000. As usual, I'll give you the strategy and thought process behind every win. And at the end of the video, I'll also show you a secret tool just like you guys asked in the poll I made in today's community post. This is a tool that most people don't know about, and you can use it to study and copy the top 500 teams, and even get the best prices for these axes. So, for the first gameplay, I'll be using my top 1000 team. This is probably the last time you will see it, because I'm selling a couple axes and fine-tuning the strategy to go back to top 500. In this game, I'll be playing a plant in double aqua. This is a really hard matchup because both aquas have a way to speed up against me. I've been seeing more and more teams like this in the tops. You can see his plant is just an utility plant like mine, but with three zero cost cards. He uses Bidens instead of Pumpkin. His midliner aqua has Risky Fish, Arco, Scarab and Nemo. And this Arco can be a problem against my mech in the late game if I snipe his backliner first. And the backliner also have Koi, so both aquas have high damage, I'll play potential and beast or bug cards. This is a really good team guys. I know I'll probably lack damage to snipe his aqua in one combo if I don't get better cards, so I'm attacking his plant to get plus attack on my next turn. This is a risky play, I'm not sure if he will have shields on his Koi Aqua, but I'll go for the back door anyway. And he survives because of the 70 shield. Can I still win? Let's see. I don't have cards on my aqua, so I'm skipping and waiting for another shrimp. If he doesn't kill me this turn, maybe I'll still have a chance. Right now, I'm also thinking about killing his plant. If his aqua kills mine, he will probably be faster than my mech anyway. So my game plan is to kill his plant, and try to play two against one. If you have seen my other videos, that's usually the other way around, I'm usually the one with only one axe. This time, I was lucky he only had one Arco. And that's a GG right there, this is why Arco is so important in your mech or beast. Now for game 2, I'll be facing a double anemone bird team. You guys have been asking for tips against this team so I'll give you a couple more. Don't forget to also watch this video, I have a couple games there against this type of comp. This team has two aquas with double anemone, lamb and nemo. And a backdoor bird with hair. A pretty standard team that has been dominating the leaderboard since last season. And a bad matchup against mine because his bird can snipe my aqua and all of his axes are faster than my mech. Let's see how this goes. I usually skip turn 1 to wait for my shrimp combo. And this turn 2 goes really bad for me just like in the previous game. He snipes me right away, and I couldn't get any value for my aqua, what a shame. I think he doesn't attack me here because he wants to go for the back door again, or because he thinks I'll brick wall the plant. And this will make me win. One of the hardest challenges in Axie Infinity is knowing when to attack based on the opponent's team. If he kills my plant fast it's game over. But he decides to wait.
Now he goes for the back door, and knowing this, I'll still try to survive and keep moving forward. If he had a pure bird, this back door would be scarier. Do you see why I'm winning against this guy? It's not just the team that will help you climb. But experience as well. And again, this is why Arco helps. With 47 speed and 2 Arco, I'll be faster than this bird with my mech. Right now, I'll just split damage and win the game with either Axie. Can you guess what he should have done differently to win? Let me know in the comments below. And finally, let me show you this cool tool to help you build your top 1000 teams. So, we will be using this website called axi-infinity.xyz. I don't recommend login here with your wallet or buying anything. I don't know if it's safe or not. I use it just for research purposes. Right here, you can search for the top 500 leaderboards and see what teams are doing well. Not only that, you can also see what axes they are using and their current prices. And this is usually updated daily. Really cool, right? If the API was working properly, you could even see their replays but it's not working now. This is the top 10 right here. And if you pay attention, on the right side, it says if the team is available to buy on the marketplace or not. If you click top 500 axes, you will be able to see the teams. And you can filter by price, if you want to get the cheapest, or you can do like me and filter by rank. You can see what's performing right now, and even filter classes or even cards. For example, if you want to check if shrimps or arcos are doing well you can do this. If you press similar axes, it will take you to Axie Zone and show you what's available. If you click buy it will take you to the marketplace. Personally I don't ever buy from here, I'd rather open the marketplace myself and make sure I'm not getting scammed somehow. And some of you have been asking me if it's better to play Double Nut Cracker, or Axie Kiss and Hair. You can go here and search for Axies that have these cards and see what's working. If you want, you can also search for a max amount you want to pay. For example $900, and it will find you available teams right now. I think it's really useful. And that's it for today guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video as usual, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe, I'll be uploading more daily strategy videos with different teams I'm using. Tomorrow, I'll have new axes, let's see if I can go back to top 500 and you guys can copy my new team. Thank you so much for watching, keep climbing the ranks.